Happy Wednesday. When, yeah. So, I woke up, sorry, kind of in the middle of a boss fight on WoW. Um, chat more once this thing's done. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I had this, like, urge to just play a bunch of WoW today. So, I'm probably gonna, during news time, just here in a couple hours, probably upload this. Um, and compile it. Whatever. Yeah. You know. In fact, Monday's probably gonna have a weird one too because I'm gonna be out towards, uh, I'm gonna be out for like doctor's appointments and whatnot. Might take the camera with me that day. I don't know. I still have yet to talk to Aaron about that one. What do you think about taking the camera to the doctor? He's all like, I don't know. Whatever. Being weird. So, yeah, I have, I actually thought about something yesterday. Um, I had kind of a little whiny rant fit on uh, Facebook the other day, yesterday, days ago. anyways, and it was concerning popularity. Um... And I can see how much of a of a drive that is for people. Um, I've never actually thought about it because, well, I had never have been popular. Well, once I was popular once for like four months. Ever since then, it's been. You know, cloistered little old me. So. And it's been cloistered little old me because, well, it's kind of hard to find people that are grown up in that way. Because, like, the people I was popular with, um, I was at that same stage in my development that I was that immature. Or I was okay with people being that immature. Now, I just want to, I just want to, like, box them upside the ears. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, anyways, um, all that jizzy jazz, jizzy jazz. So, also have a little bit of insight on a conglomeration of personalities. Not like a multiple personality sort of schizophrenia sort of thing. No, I'm talking like how people uh, uh, develop a personality into themselves. Um, it seems it seems weird, <laughs> you know. It seems really really weird how this works, um, and you know, there's a there's a few dirty ways you can take this, <laughs> you know. You can just absolutely go disgusting with this, but it's like not even meeting people, but seeing people, watching people on YouTube, like me, or Hannah, or Grace, Daily Grace, or Charlie So Cool Like, you know, or even Hank or John, John Green, you know, any of those work just, work perfectly for this. Um, fictional characters on television to an extent, but... Usually when someone puts a little bit more realism into it, such as like a personality on on YouTube or in real life. I was just giving examples on the watching someone. Um, so how this works, and I've noticed this has happened with me recently. Um, I have been, well, I'm gonna phrase this, yes. When I meet someone, I have that Asperger trait that wants to learn everything about them. Not like stalkerish, I just want to know because the more I know, the better I can predict, the better I can uh, yeah, that more comfortable I feel around the person. So. Anyways, 
I need to compose my thoughts. Um, I don't know. So we'll be back here in just a minute or so. I'm going to go off and just like run back and forth. Hopefully get my thoughts of working. Okay, so there we go. So the diagram of how people create personalities. Now this is what Aaron tells me, that in general, I tend to think more mechanically about things that people think of as, oh now I'm out of breath. That was counterproductive. So, okay. So I think mechanically, it's because of the Asperger's, about what people think of as more of an artistic flow to everything. It's the math behind the art, if that makes any sense. That's right. Cold coffee will do the trick. So, personalities. As I have been exploring YouTube and various other things on television and a couple people in real life. Um, and I've noticed over the last 10 years that the different people I meet, I tend to sort of like embody their personality for a little while. Not completely. You can't because you don't actually have the physical wiring someone does. Nor the possible joint issues if they happen to have any. Like, there are some people I know that just are never going to do this because they, <laughs> they have arthritis or something. But you come across people and you try, I try to assimilate their personality as best as possible. Um, after a while, I start realizing, you know, I don't really like that part. I don't like this. I don't like that. And I start basically looking at the salad, <laughs> this, you know, the... I'm about right, you know, it's like, here is someone's personality salad. And I start eating it. I'm just like, ah, love salad, love salad. And then I start getting, like, midway through, and I'm like, you know, as much as I'll eat any vegetable, I don't actually care for that. And I don't care for that. And I don't care for that. And you start plucking out stuff. And if you think of it like food, you're going to eat it all, you're going to digest it, it becomes a part of you, all of it, and then you get rid of the crap you don't want. <laughs> and that's pretty much how personalities work. And this seems really weird with, like, your childhood best friend because you don't have many people you've met. At least as an Aspie, I did not. So it tend to creep people out when I would openly do that. Like, I went, maybe it a lot more obvious that I was emulating them than other people do. I didn't, I don't do subtle, I can well, even my sarcasm is terrible. It's just horribly... Ah. Uh, I think the only thing I can do slyly is uh, puns. And sometimes those are so sly, Aaron doesn't even... And he's like... Well, he's a proclaimed pun master, and he loves them. But sometimes I say them, and I just have to, like... And then he finally gets it. But it just, like... Whoosh, completely didn't even blip his radar. Yeah, so, if you think about that with a personality and all the people you've met, all the people you've met or you've watched in any sort of significant capacity, you know, if you've watched one My Drunk Kitchen, okay, that's a nice entertainment thing, but if you've watched them all, or if you've watched, and here's a body language thing. You have to see the person. To wait to make this work out really well. Um, comedians. Comedians do this. Now, if you watch, if you watch your friends, if you find a new comedian, one that's new to your friends but not you. Um, back when I was in high school, and a little afterwards, there was this. Uh, Nick Swardson was a popular comic. I think he's still active. But, yeah, so he. Um, yeah, 
And that's pretty much my insight on that. That that's how personalities over time get formed that's unique to the person. Because every person you meet, you pick up little bits from them. You're scavenging the good parts off of people. And they're doing it to you too. You know, as I meet people, they become more blunt. They become more... Let's take from people. <laughs> um, so, the, you know, um, and sometimes people don't, they want to, t they want to take shit from people, so they don't really listen to me, but I don't necessarily take a lot of shit from people, mainly because I know better. <laughs> I, you know... I've done my weird Aspie sort of studying things really intently. And I know when people are bull bullshitting me and when they're not. So, yeah. Like I said, I, I tend to tweet a lot. As of recently, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I do. I care a lot. <laughs> I have a, an immense amount of care. Um... I I tweet. Sometimes I'll tweet while I'm watching the news. Say, oh, this is horrible, or oh, this is terrible, or oh, people, it's a 3.8 earthquake. Grow up. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I will catch you all later, and we will have fun time tomorrow. I think I have something planned. I'm not sure. It's Thursday. Who knows? I will catch you all later.